Hello everyone, this is Raheel, back with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we'll be covering copyright and uh, how to properly copyright images on Photoshop. So, let's get started. First, let's add the copywriting to the image, Im image itself. This part's actually optional, but I just like to do it anyway. On Mac, you can get the copyright symbol by holding Option and then clicking G. Uh, and I'm currently on a Mac right now, so that's how I did it. Um, but on Windows, you can press Alt and then 0169. And uh, after that, I'll just add the company name who owns the copyright. Um, this is an actual company, just uh, it's just for demonstration for now. I'll scale it up a little, uh, and then yeah. And let's actually put the copyright into the metadata itself. So we can press File, and then press File Info. So that gives us the whole info file for the Photoshop uh, project that we were working on. Uh, we just get to the basic panel and go into copyright status. So you can actually fill out all these forms first uh, if you are really serious about um, holding any rights, but I'll just uh, stick to the copyright status. I want to say, hey, it is copyrighted. And who, ho who owns the copyright? Well, I'll just insert the symbol again and press Raheel Janaid Corporation 2020. There you go. And then I put the copyright info URL, so if anybody wants to get more information on how they can use this image, they can simply just go to this domain. Uh, let's just get some random domain here. Uh, .com. Why not? And then you just press OK, and all the copyright has been applied. So you know it applies the project if you see this copyright symbol appear over here. Then you press, uh, you can export the file, you press File Export As. And it's very important to use export as, as it does give you this option to use copyright and contact info. So it'll automatically be selected to none. You just gotta go click on copyright and contact info and uh, play with any of these settings that you want to. Then you press export and I'll bring it to the downloads section. I'll open up the file to check if the copyright has been applied. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do it on Windows, but if you are on Mac, then you can just press uh, tools and then show inspector. And it'll give you all of the file information that you need. You can also find a lot of this when you just right click and press get info. Um, but right now what we'll find is if we go into the IPTC, uh, you'll start out with general, but you just got to click on this. And then uh, you can expand the panel and find that the copyright information has been provided as metadata within the file. And it also says what it was made on. But that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and make sure to drop a like. Uh, and also comment if you would like more tutorials like this. See ya!